In this lesson, I'm going to discuss a paired t-test. So we have two columns of information here. Column A are total child nutrition per pupil expenditures. And this is before a training that was meant to increase the efficiency and effectiveness of the cafeteria operations, everything from procuring food to managing employees to appropriate staffing levels. And then column B is, are the total child nutrition per pupil expenditures after that training. And so these are for each school. So each row represents one school and we have information before and after for each of those schools. So this training was completed at 17 schools and we, again, we have the information from before and after that training in terms of their total child nutrition per pupil expenditures. To analyze this information, we're going to use the data ribbon. We'll go to the data analysis tool, and we're going to use a paired two sample for means t-test. So we want to see if there's a difference between these uh, two groups, the before and after. So let's actually start before we do the analysis with our null hypothesis. So our null hypothesis is that there are no, there's no difference between the means when we're comparing the before and after, and their alternative hypothesis is that there is a difference. Now we can run the statistical test. Our variable one range is in column A. Our variable two range is in column B. We do have labels and we'll use an alpha of 0 0.05 and we can place our output here on the same worksheet. So here's our information. I'm going to make the columns a little bit larger so we can see this a little bit. Maybe I'll wrap these, this text so we can see that. So our first information here is related to the before training and then the after training. So in the before, the average per pupil expenditure for these 17 schools was $537.38. And after the training, it was $504.53. We are looking at the two-tailed test with a p-value greater than 0.05. We failed to reject the null hypothesis that there was no difference between the means. Therefore, this test supports the idea that there's no difference that was created because of this training, statistically speaking. So again, our conclusion here, we failed to reject the null hypothesis.